It hasn't had that importance um, over recent decades, in large part because nutrition was a little bit invisible to policymakers around the world. Uh, there was certainly a lot of focus on, on agriculture in the past, but in 2007, 2008, when there was the world food price crisis uh, globally, that raised um, all kinds of alarms about sufficient food availability and production uh, in the world, but also accessibility and the nutritional outcomes, impacts. Immediately after that, 2008, 2009, there were a whole le le a lot of um, high-level policy and political meetings that brought together political leaders, like in L'Aquila, for example, in, in Italy, who made big commitments to addressing this kind of problem, the potential for food failures, the potential for price crises, potential for nutrition um, <clears throat> decline. Uh, and then it was realized that there is no Ministry of Nutrition in any government. There is no World Food, uh, World Organization for Nutrition, and it has somewhat fallen between the stools, between chairs. And that has uh, led very quickly to a recognition that if nutrition is not one person's responsibility, it is everyone's responsibility, and that requires multi-sectoral action and multi-organizational action. And so this conference um, is a, a reflection of that by bringing together lots of different stakeholders from different sectors to work together towards a common agenda. The main contribution of the CGIAR was to produce crops that are more nutrient-rich. Uh, but it's more recently been uh, understood and accepted that uh, that's not quite enough. Making uh, more nutrients available doesn't always seem to translate into improved nutritional status of the consumers. And I think that then led many policymakers and scientists to say, okay, we can't stop at this point of producing better seeds. There's something else that has to happen in addition to that. And that requires us, the CG scientists, to engage with scientists and policymakers in other sectors, health, uh, water and sanitation, uh, environment, and so on, to make to, to close the chain. Uh, it's, a, it's a valid uh, point. The, the conference is dealing, fortunately, with, with distribution. Um, they, the word the economists here to, are using is, is accessibility and affordability of, of foods. Um, the, the key message is um, even if there were sufficient calories available in the world, and that's typically how that uh, that is measured. Uh, that alone isn't enough. Uh, it's, so it's not just enough calories in the world to feed everyone. It's it's diet quality. It's the quality of those foods, both uh, making them safe uh, so that they're not carrying molds and to toxins like aflatoxin. Uh, so it has to be safe, but at the same time, the whole diet has to be diverse and contain the range of foods and the range of nutrients. And so we have to move beyond calories. And so the CG system as a whole is uh, moving beyond, let's just grow more food, uh, to growing more diverse foods, more nutrient-rich foods, uh, investing in research that will help um, the whole diet get improved.